Yes, you are tuned to Headbangers Ball Operation Rock and Roll Special from Dallas. And now I'm joined backstage by the first of two British bands <coughs> on the bill tonight, Motorhead. So, Lenny. Oh, hello. <laughs> Wizzo. <laughs> Yeah, Words right. all high and filthy. How are you doing? Uh, well, well, I'm fine, thank you. Well, right. How are you? Great, I'm fine. Good, good. Now, after, God, you're lovely. <laughs> after a very successful European tour, you were forced to cancel some club dates stateside. What happened there? What club dates? Oh yeah, well we were uh, we were doing this tour instead. So. Mm -hmm. Was it down to illness as, or exhaustion, as we heard? Oh, well, I wasn't. <laughs> He's usually ill down there. He's ill now. Look at him. <laughs> So, how's it working yeah. out for you on Operation Rock and Roll? What are you doing about it? Uh, so far, so good, you know. Well, we can't that's something you can hope for, boys and girls, believe me. And don't talk at the same time. Remember what they told you? Well, well, there's an interview going on here. You were ill, not me. I told you. Listen to him, Phil. It was him that was ill, not bleeding me. That's our punch up. Listen, everybody was ill, right? And then everybody went on tour as well. Right. Just because okay. I'm made of wood. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the other bands on the bill? Typical to say, really, we haven't seen two of them because we keep having to leave after the show, you know. So right. we don't see two top bands much. Well, I've seen them, but it's a good show, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good five bands, really. Mm -hmm. And we've heard that most of the have... best, like, you know. Well, that's what we heard. We yeah. heard you've been getting the best press out of everybody. Well, we've been getting some great press, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I got a trouser press the other day. <laughs> Love me forever. Sweet for you that this album has been so well accepted stateside. Yes, about time to it, I might say. So. Now, being used to headlining status yourselves and having such a wealth of back catalogue material, how do you adapt your set to just 30 minutes or so? With difficulty. Yes, with difficulty. Tonight we're doing 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
So we put in another couple of songs. I mean, uh, it's just the way it goes. Unfortunately, after doing 30 minutes, we like to do an hour. Got to get it well in can, you know. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we've never headlined in America except when we've done club dates, so if we got on a big tour, we used to support and we've supported a few people. Really. We, we make sure the 30 minutes is good anyway. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Right. Best 30 minutes you've ever heard, folks. Mm -hmm. How do you Gosh, think um, that uh, 1916 has broadened your audience out? Well, they've got well, fat that they're eating more hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, four or five of them are six foot across now. Yeah, for sure. But we don't hold that against them, you know, we're broad minded. No, come on. Uh -huh. Answer the question, uh -huh. come on. <laughs> I know it seems to be, the, it's obviously the best selling album we've had in America, so it's all on the up and up, you know, mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Okay, well, uh, that sounds like a good opportunity to go into a video. That's so, uh, it's a beautiful tool, I never noticed that before. <laughs> so, yes, even more, <laughs> I think we should get into a video now. <laughs> this is um, I'm So Bad, Baby. I don't care. Operation Rock and Roll Special from Dallas. We may be indoors, but we are in Dallas. Now, more questions. I read um, in an interview at the time of the LP release that you said that Motorhead had been on a treadmill for many years. Do you think that with 1916 you're off that treadmill? Yes. Hope so. Do you remember saying that? It's on the back of the album, actually. Okay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously we are, yeah. We're getting more publicity, more um, coverage, you know, coverage. And, um, <laughs> It's the best album anyway we've done, so we're off, Sorry, we're right. off the treadmill, yeah. yeah. I think it's the best album the band's ever done. So. Yeah, it certainly is. Better than Ace of Spades, everybody, although that's the one we keep getting stuck with. Uh -huh. Me. Now, I have a question for you, Lemmy. Oh, no. I hope you really? don't mind me Seriously. bringing this up. Yeah. But when I saw you on tour in Europe, I was very honoured to be shown a couple of songs that you'd written, um, rather like 1916, i.e. you'd written them from another person's point of view. Uh, do you think that those particular songs will appear on a future Motorhead release, or are you going to continue developing that idea? Well, they'll appear on something. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll sell them to somebody and I'll make more money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really know. You know, maybe they'll come out, maybe they won't. Silver Star and uh, Daddy Kiss Me Goodnight, yeah. Now, I was lucky enough to see the lyrics to those songs, and they were very thought-provoking and I felt so very just honoured. Cute. I wouldn't show them to <laughs> ugly people, you know. Would you be prepared to tell the viewers what the, what the themes of those two songs were about? No, let them be surprised. I like surprises, don't you? <laughs> I love surprises. She like hates them, look. <laughs> it's always a surprise with Motorhead. I'm yes, we're, not, we're full of surprises. Is, I mean, girls. can I just ask you, let me again, is there anything you'd like to do creatively that you can't do within the framework of Motorhead? Yeah, everything else, you know. I mean, but you can't do everything else. It's, uh, we, we do whatever we can get away with, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I know that. Chance to, to write new material on the road together? We do, but we never we never write any until mm. it's time to write something. You know, I've got to talk it to the camera, haven't I? <laughs> until it's time to write it, we don't write a thing. <laughs> okay, and uh, just really. Postcards. Postcards. <laughs> <laughs> postcards and I'd just really like to know your, your plans for the, the immediate future. What have you got coming up? More, another album, more tours, things mm. like that. More interviews on MTV. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's it. With you, Vanessa. <laughs> With a new T-shirt. <laughs> Largest bogey in Motorhead contest. And you've got a, a live video out as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's called Everything Louder Than Everything Else, which seems a perfect title to me. What do you think? Yeah, it's good, yes. Very funny. 
It's very funny. It's just been, just been released in Europe, I'm, I'm told. And, um, yeah, I've seen it once or twice. It's good. Yeah, you should get it. Should it's excellent. It. Actually, go out and buy five copies. We deserve the money. Yes, all five of you. <laughs> Immediately. All five people who are watching this know all your names and your addresses. The and the shop where you bought the equipment. We know where you live. After you mentioned the bogey competition, it's up to 15 now, Phil. It's, it's no. only every second, yeah. Oh dear. Well, on that note, I think it's time for us to see bogeyman. some more music. We're going to see your second video of 1916. Are we? Yes, What's which that? was? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. We've seen that. Oh, well, that was the second one. I don't know. The second oh, our version of no voices in the sky. Oh, is that oh, one? Yeah, that's the one. What I had is a scuzzy piece of shit that's noisy. But we don't think about the dress much. I wear a dress sometimes. Lemmy's has got a good dress. Maybe some of rock. <laughs> we always just thought of ourselves as motorhead music. Danger has to be dangerous, man. Also, it ain't rock and roll.